Witaj, witajcie moi drodzy, z tej strony no witam was w kolejnym odcinku z Lisa. E, słuchajcie, lecimy dalej, nie? Cieszę się, że też tęskniliście za serią, cieszę się, że seria wam się podoba. E, na razie postaram się ogarnąć to tak, żeby było ona w miarę codziennie, póki się skończyły, więc po prostu jutro po południu będzie odcinek o 17 albo o 17.30. Nagrywam ten odcinek w sumie tak z rana, bo jest 12, ale jako, że wczoraj padłam chora, w ogóle jestem chora, jeżeli będę smarkać, to wybaczcie, ale cóż. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Okay. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. Mhm. What do I know? Idealna osoba, żeby spieć coś takiego powiedzieć. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Trochę mnie obawia zatrudnienie tego ziomka. Mogę coś zrobić z piłką? Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Tell me, what's up, guy? Make art, not war. Ah. Teraz będzie odcinek z karmienia wiewiórki. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Mogę to zobaczyć? Mogę. Foto tej, foto wiewiórki. Jaka śliczna. Ktoś sobie siedzi pod drzewem, więc zagadamy. Hi Taylor. Hi Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Oh, proszę. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. Mm -hmm. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Aww. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm 
glad we did. So, Professor Dolly. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Mogą z nim poruszyć z temat Kate, ale... Max, oh. check it out. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yeah. yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a Talk. real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Mm -hmm. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I mean. I love those old-school ape films. <laughs> well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, <laughs> I'll text you the info. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. Się podniecił, ale ja naprawdę, naprawdę życzę mu jak najlepiej i mam nadzieję, że mu się tutaj z nami poszczęści, bo Max się przyda taki facet, mi się w ogóle przyda facet. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. No, ale tymi nogami na lewo i na prawo sika, czy co? W ogóle, czy szkolnym autobusem nie powinno się jechać do szkoły? A nie... Ze szkoły? Rano? Trzeba przyznać, że widoki są zarobiste, korzystając z okazji, powiem wam, że zresztą co mogliście zauważyć, intro zostało zmienione. Poprosiłam Mateusza, nie ukrywam, że to intro podoba mi się zdecydowanie bardziej. Aczkolwiek Rudy zawsze robił dobre intra, ale po prostu zawsze miałem problem z napisami, a tu napis jest dobrany, perfekt i to jest coś, dla czym mi gdzieś tam bardzo zależy. To jest niezdrowo tak trzymać łeb. Mam wrażenie, że ktoś tu się nie wyspał. A, i wiem, że jest kolejny sezon Gota, wiem. Ale nie mam go gdzie wcisnąć na kanał aktualnie, więc trochę sobie poczekamy. Latarnia morska. Dobra, gdzie my zajedziemy? Uwielbiam ścieżkę dźwiękową do tej gry. Oj, idziemy do boru z wielorybkiem! Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Dwa wielu ryby. No akurat ja i młotka. Man, that's 
smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. O właśnie, bo tu pracuje mama tej. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Aww. <laughs> Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Oh, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Our mother. Uh-huh. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't mm. use that. <laughs> we know each other. Why do you ask? Oh, he kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. <laughs> Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go now. Yeah. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Spoko. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. <laughs> Come on. Jak możemy czemuś zrobić foto, to oczywiście robimy. Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Uh huh. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Some of the Hey, Trevor. Hola, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and. I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was in there too. 
How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. Mm -hmm. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut back yeah, and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking mm. photos. I am a camera. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. Oh yes. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your yes, homework, school, girl? School. school. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Bardzo mi się podobają te takie amerykańskie właśnie bary. Ci przychodzą, dolewają kawę i tak dalej. Hi Joyce, it's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at two whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just no. Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Oh, that's too anyway, though. I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now <laughs> she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, why? What did Chloe tell Oops. you? Oops. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Cholera. <sighs> I ogólnie bym powiedziała, że to nie jest wymówka, dlatego że mu uderzył, tak? Z drugiej strony myślę, że wtedy Joyce może na nas strzelić trochę fota, focha. Zapytałabym o Kate, natomiast obawiam się, że źle to może odebrać, ale spróbujmy. He cares about Kate Marsh. David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell and he won't cook at the diner, you know. Okay. I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Mogę sobie wybrać. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. <laughs> the only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. No. 
I nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. <laughs> Drink me with a big of cup. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Some beer and bacon before I die. <laughs> this is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? What does this one do? Incoming! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Thank you. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. <laughs> 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 Speak <of> the devil. <sighs> Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Oh, Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. You can't explain that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, we go visualize, You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. No way. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Dobra, mamy panda, fajki. Mam nadzieję, że muszę liczyć ile ma dolarów. Cztery ćwierć dolarówki. I sześć centów. Parkingowy ten. Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Yep. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. 
Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh, Boże. 4 ćwierć, czyli 4 razy 25 to jest... Nie, to mi się nie zgadza w żaden sposób. To było 6 centów. Eighty-six cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. No, just to be safe, little girl. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh fuck! It's about ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> that was easy. You have powers. No shit. <laughs> I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Dobra. To zrobimy jeszcze w kolejnym odcinku. Ja teraz nie muszę patrzeć na zapis, bo nie ukrywam, że mam zaraz w planach nagrać kolejny. Więc cóż, na ten moment standardowo komentujcie, subskrybujcie, łapcie w górę mnie widziane. Pozdrawiam Was, kina, trzymajcie się i cześć!